Who are you? Name's Peter Quill. Dude, chill out. You look like an 80s robot. <laughs> There's one other name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? What are you good at, soldier? Wow, we might as well have Spider-Man join the Avengers. Get your Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. You'll be hooked on a feeling. Love you, kids. It's time for your... What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Battle FX Star Lord talking figure. See on the packaging, it says lights, movie voice, try me, which has a cool try me feature. You can see all the uh, little weapons and accessories you get. Cool picture of Star Lord right there. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Battle Effects Star Lord ages four and up. Requires uh, two AAA batteries, but they are included. Uh, warning: If you want to choke on your Star Lord, you might be hooked on the feeling. Side of the box, you can see a nice promotional art of all the Guardians of the Galaxy looking pretty badass with a bunch of a holes. On the back has a little bio about Battle Effects Star Lord. Star Lord has more than a couple screws loose. Take that cassette player thing, for example. I mean, what the heck is a mixtape? Anyway, Rocket Raccoon, it says light up eyes uh, and meet my friends, the Guardians of the Galaxy, battle sounds and music. Press a button once for movie voice, twice for music, and press and hold for battle sounds. Plus, uh, check out Intergalactic Toys. Let's see if you'll be hooked on this Star Lord. Here we got the Guardians of the Galaxy Battle FX Star Lord figure. It's not a Hot Toys figure, but it's definitely a fun toy. Let's take a closer look at it. Now, the head sculpt is pretty good on this guy, considering this is a $20 talking toy. The mass, uh, compared to even the Marvel Legend one, seems a little bit bigger and it doesn't remove due to the uh, light up feature in his eyes, which I'll show off here, but pretty decent paint outs. Like I said, it's it's meant to just be a durable toy, but good sculpting. A flesh tone underneath there is, yeah, there's no really sculpting underneath there. There's not like a face. And then the hair on the top uh, doesn't have any paint detail, really just one color, but it does have some decent sculpting. On the back here, uh, just, uh, you unscrew it here to do the two AAA batteries. You can see the silver uh, button right here is this is where it'll activate all lights and sounds and you can see the speaker through here. Every like his bag uh, is all sculpted on to him so it's not a separate piece like the Marvel Legend one. Um, you know, like I said it's decent uh, sculpting. It's pretty much on par of the Titan Heroes uh, figures that we've been getting from Hasbro except uh, their battle effects figures have been out for a while but this one is actually 12 inches versus 10 inches like they usually do it so I do like that they've been keeping in with 12 inches I guess to be more inclined with the Titan heroes so um, yeah but you know like I said uh, you know it's definitely a lot cheaper than a Hot Toys figure but you will definitely see it in the quality and yeah the, the legs right here you can see they're shiny black plastic and he does have those like rocket things on his boots but they're this gray plastic. I do like that cool flame symbol that's on there. I don't know if that's a flame or a leaf. Or... For articulation there's definitely not much and there's definitely no Marvel Legend. The head can uh, move left and right, can't go up and down. The arms can rotate fully which is great and he does have waist articulation surprisingly which is awesome but it does look a little weird because of the way the coat is. Uh, but yeah, that's it. You do get four accessories with Star-Lord. You do get his quad blasters that are pretty uh, nicely sculpted, you know, and they do fit in his hands. They, he, his hands are made to have trigger fingers, so you just kind of have to squeeze them in here. There. And you do get his Walkman. Uh, it's only on this part, the actual Walkman, it has a little uh, tab right here that you actually put on his, uh, this hole right here. You kind of just stick it in Right there, pretty decent uh, detail. Then he actually has his headphones with orange and silver right here, and you would just simply place this uh, right over his head. Now, unlike the Marvel Legend or Hot Toys where you buy it for detail articulation, you buy this guy for the lights and sounds gimmick. Now, the way you activate this, you press uh, the button once for the voice clips, which is actually Chris Pratt, the actor that plays Star Lord. So let's hear all his different voice clips. Oh, come on. Wait, you, you do have a plan, right? Or is that just another thing you made up? Meet my friends, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Don't mess with my friends. 
That's going to wear real thin, real fast. Oh, you got the wrong guy. I'm not with him. This ain't funny, Rocket. Mm, I don't learn. It's one of my issues. Put the guns down and step away from the tree and raccoon. Name's Peter Quill. Dude, chill out. <laughs> There's one other name you might know me by. Star-Lord. I'm just a junker is all. I come from a planet of outlaws. <laughs> the lights uh, in his eyes light up. And, uh, of course, he has a bunch of different sayings. So, yeah, he says, like, over a dozen different things. So that's pretty cool. And now, the way he also has another cool gimmick that goes along with his Walkman. He'll play some music clips. And nothing, like, you know, hooked on a filling or anything, which would have been awesome. But probably would have cost a lot more to do that. But if you uh, press it twice, he'll go along a few different music clips like this. And the last cool feature, besides the voice clips and sound clips, if you hold down the button, he actually has battle sounds! Hey Star-Lord, you want to build one of those Guardians of the Galaxy Lego sets that just came out? Mm, I don't learn. It's one of my issues. Oh come on, you just need to follow the instructions, and that's awesome! By the way, your voice is awesome! awesome. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Battle of FX Star Lord is pretty much one sixth scale as compared to the Hot Toys Captain America from the first Avenger Captain America. Uh, they're pretty much the same size unless you count his headphones and he's a little bit taller. You can see how much taller he is in the Marvel Legends Star Lord as well as the leader Transformers Age of Extinction First Edition Optimus Prime. Now, is this Star Lord uh, toy as detailed and articulate as uh, Hot Toys or Marvel Legends? No. Is it a fun toy? Yes. I do like that we do get the actual um, voice clips from Chris Pratt as Star-Lord and you get a pretty uh, good amount too as well as little music clips. Yeah I know it doesn't have hooked on the filling but I know for royalty reasons they couldn't do that and you get some battle sounds so um, and I do like that it's actually 12 inches versus the 10 inches that Hasbro used to do these and so these kind of work with Hot Toys if you don't care about having super detailed, super articulated ones, but at least like it's a cool little display piece and fun toy uh, for Marvel fans. And I just saw the 17 minute uh, IMAX preview of Guardians of the Galaxy and I am so excited. I cannot wait to see the movie. For Hot Toys Marvel Legend collectors, this is for you, but for a fun kids toy or fans of voice clips and lights and sounds, you will love this. It's really fun, so I would recommend it for those. Full pick gallery will be at MarvelousNews.com. Check it out for more Marvel news, and check out more on my website, SeanXLong.com. Like me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'm Sean Long, remember live long and live life. Put the guns down and step away from the tree and raccoon. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Uh, she's gonna be a video star. Oh, hey, no, no, no. Oh, oh, hey, how's it hanging? Nathan Drake here. When I'm not making blockbuster video games, I just like to hang out, do some parkour, you know, work them guns. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Spider!